Welcome to Electra Online. One of the most useful and the most common graphs is the circle graph, also called the pie chart. And the reason why it seems so popular is because it gives us a really visual representation of what's going on, especially if the number of data types there are is relatively few. For example, here, we only have Republicans, Democrats, or Independents registered as voters in a particular county. Since there's only three data types, it gives you a very nice representative view of which one is, is the most common and which ones are less common. Kind of like when you grab a pie and you want a piece of it, you can take a small piece or a large piece, if you like the pie, of course. And so you get that same kind of feeling with a pie chart. But it becomes less effective when the data type has become large. For example, here may be a, um, a survey that was done to find out what the students would like to graduate as or with what, with what kind of degree they would like to graduate with or perhaps it's the totality of all the students in the college. And so as a percentage you can see that more want to graduate a business degree and less with biological sciences degree. But notice that if there's a lot of data types you begin to lose the ability to compare one by the other strictly by the size of the slices in the pie and you actually have to start reading the numbers the percentages in order to get a feel for how big that slice actually is relative to the others so pie charts they tend to work better with fewer data types they tend to work not quite as good with large data types unless there's a big difference between the parts that are very common or very popular versus the one that's just a few of if you if you can readily see a big difference in the size of each slice, then it becomes a very useful type of graph. If there's a lot of data types like this, and the differences between them is relatively minor, for example, we have 8%, 12, 8, 10, 10, 12, 9, it becomes very difficult just by looking at the pie to identify the size of each slice, and maybe a bar graph then where you can see the literal height of each, each data type becomes a little bit more useful in that particular case. Either way, you can see here there's a certain amount of benefit and a certain amount of visual, um, I would say visual relationship to what we're used to when we see a real pie versus a data graph like this. And that's why they will always be around.